This is a remarkable area of artistic investigation acting. There's a you before the method and a you after the method. You look at things in a new light. You become enlightened in sort of a way. You know, it's a new perspective. Bring yourself, bring your life experience, bring you to the room, and I will work with you. They encourage you to take risk and step outside of your comfort zone. Some people are content with being comfortable, but that's not life, you know? Life isn't comfortable. And just like any training, this training takes hard work, perseverance, and endurance. I think the first thing, maybe the only thing, is to learn how to work, to practice what you're taught, to practice it all the time. You will have a system that you can always rely on. What you can bring to it, how you can make your, your story more, more personal, more real, more poignant. I mean, as you take these first steps to become the actor you want to be, you have to learn how to listen. Take advantage of every single minute you have in that classroom. Come in prepared, learn your lines, and live fully. The core of your training is the method acting classes. You'll find your own track within the method, the exercises that you connect with. The best any actor can be is what the method is all about. So what is method acting? Essentially, they deal with the training of the senses. Essentially, they deal with the training of the emotions. Essentially, they deal with the training of the imagination. And we emphasize, therefore, these exercises as the basic foundation for the actor's growth and development, preparing you for all the problems that the actor faces in any of the acting mediums. The thing about the training at Strasbourg is that it's impossible to disassociate with who you really are. Honesty was more important than almost anything. Truthful feelings, truthful behavior to create life on the stage. What is called re-experiencing on stage. Because the actor doesn't just experience the fundamental reality of acting is re-experiencing. You adapt something that makes you then feel and touch and see and smell and remember uh, things that your grandmother taught you. Because that's what shapes you. That's, that's the thing that gives you the foundation. It's as simple as having these tools to strengthen your concentration and the imagination. If you use Lee's technique, you're going, to, you're going to feel secure and give the performance you planned. The method is a means to figure out who you really are. Taking advantage of what you were born with, behavior, feelings, and senses, and just reaping all the rewards of that. And then you use that as a, as a real feeling, as, a, as behavior for, for your character. But it's hooked in something real. It's the re-experiencing of life by the actor on stage.